Hello everyone, welcome back to another session with me. I am Sanyukta Saxena and today we are going to be learning one more new tangle issued by uh, CZT. Uh, she is Mary Beth Schoonover. I'm ho I hope uh, I'm pronouncing it right. The tangle is called B Dylan. Uh, looks very organic, somewhat inspired from nature. A plant, I can't remember the name though. So I have drawn two lines just like a stem and drawn a triangle over it. And then I'm just going to let my pen loose and draw just like etching or thatching. Just going to draw freehand lines like these. Yeah. And once we have done with that, now I'm just going to add some dots. It's a beautiful looking tangle. So simple to draw and looks really nice. Yeah, the tangle is called B Dylan, Bob Dylan. Yeah, yeah, somewhat the inspiration there. So, uh, like we always do, we'll draw a tile today. Use this tangle in the tile so you'll get a better picture of how to draw the tangle. Right, so I'm going to start right away on my zendala. This is a round tile, and I'm going to place a border. So, with a sense of gratitude and appreciation towards this beautiful art form, towards everything, yeah, smallest of things that we always took for granted. Let us start. So I'm going to start with a tangle called moon pie. Yeah. So I'm going to place some moon pies, big ones, something like this here. So I'm starting from the outermost aura. Yeah. And then again, place one here, probably place one more here, place one here, something like this. Yeah. So let's first draw it. So what I'm going to do is probably start upside down. So I'm going to start with Duda. Yeah, a Zentangle original Duda. So lines from both sides going up to three fourth the distance. Just stop short of the line on the other side slowly take your time tangle duda you can draw knight's bridge you can add print terms you can add orbs moon pie is just an extended version of crescent moon you can add anything you feel like to deck up your auras yeah entirely up to you. So we're going to add some Knight's Bridge. Slowly take your time. Do the inking. Knight's Bridge, a Zentangle original. Duda is also a Zentangle original. So we are learning new tangles and we are also revisiting what we already know. Yeah, so that's Knight's Bridge with little bit of embellishment in the form of those orbs. Again, adding one more aura. And now I'm going to add some simple orbs there. Make sure you fill in the small little intersectuses. Preferably at the same time. Yeah.
like that again add an aura now the last aura you can add either inking or you can add some flower inking the in between spaces and that's my first moon pie yeah so i'm going to repeat the same process depending on whatever spaces i have and draw the same tangle in all these sections yeah so let's get started with the second one and follow the same process yeah so i'm drawing the third one here a little variation there drawing the tangle echoism in the topmost layer a series of cursive s simple tangle to draw yeah again the second layer i'm going to again go with duda take your time pure line based angle and looks so beautiful again adding some orbs big ones squeezing it and then you can add some flowers yeah so i'm going to add one or two more now you can add a small a fine aura there again going to start with some inking here so i am drawing the last one now almost finishing drawing my layers of moon pies choosing some 3 4 tangles and just repeating them in my auras whichever way i wish to yeah take your time and draw it the way you wish to right and then i am going to probably insert a moth here in between yeah and then finally we go to our new tangle that is bee dialin so this was all preparing the base for the highlight of the day yeah <laughs> so this beautiful moon pies decked up version of crescent moon right so i'm now going to add probably a moth here so first starting like this and then just oring the space inside like this yeah and then start with my bee dialin like this like this a very delicate looking tangle so draw it delicately yeah i'm going to add probably one more like this yeah so we have drawn the stems now you can join your moth and then start drawing these lines so i'm going to start from here straight line with some weight at the end
take your time. Mod this just about drawing these lines with some weight as you finish the line. Yeah. Slowly. Add those lines. So done with that. Now going finally to our focus angle today. So I'm now going to let my pen loose and enjoy these beautiful thatched roof kind of a feel, twigs, whatever you want to relate it to. Yeah, if you like, you can also place some nice Bronx cheers here. I think they will add. So that's a small tangliation or enhancement. Going on to the next. Our focus tangle today. The new tangle that we are going learning today. B dial in. Yeah, so you want, you can add some Bronx cheers there, or you can leave it like that. These are going behind, so a little careful there. Don't want to take it inside my, again some bit of Bronx chairs there, small ones, and then the same process. Yeah? So just let your pen loose. I'm just going to add some bit of, just connect these lines. Yeah. And now the last thing to do is to add those dots without which the tangle is not complete. So just holding the pen perpendicular and adding those dots. Looks so fragile and delicate. Yeah. So draw it that way. Don't press your pen hard. Yeah. So that's the tangle. Now if you want, you can add few things here and there. For example, some caviars or some uh, a tipple or anything like that, right? But I'm first going to shade and then we'll see if we want to add something else also. Yeah, let's move on to shading first. So, with my pencil, I'm first going to shading. This is pretty simple. Just add shade here from where lines are emerging and at the edges. The tangle mirth. Apart from B Dylan, all are Zentangle originals. I love to work with the original tangles, but yes, these tangles are beautiful and it's worth adding them to our already K 
kitty of no tangles yeah of original tangles i'm sorry so don't blend too much so a nice way would be to add thick graphite on these intersections and not get into shading each section yeah so i think this would be a better idea just leave the center white and then add the graphite at the two corners so overlapping moons or moon pies are a great way are a great you know tangle to shade also they provide excellent shading opportunity it's real fun to shade them So feel free to shade it the way you wish to. I'm also doing that. Yeah, moving on to the next. I'm shading the last one here. So we are done with shading our moon pies. Now bead island very easy to shade just around this triangle that we have added. Don't need to add anything else. Simple tangle to shade. simple tangle to draw and the in between space probably you can add some fragile fescues here and there not much you don't need anything else there yeah so delicate tangle to draw fun to draw do try it out so some bit of chalk there on the moon pies so i'm just highlighting the center where i've not added graphite adding some chalk there take your time do that exercise just use a blending stub to soften so that doesn't look patchy and the last one here That's about it. I don't think we need anything else. You can revisit the lines if you want the outermost aura. Yeah. That's about it. Beautiful tangle be dialin Yeah so let's close our tile here 
I'm going to put in my chop. Don't forget to put your chop, sign and date your tile. Today is So I shall see you again with another new tangle by a CZT. Till then, have a good time. Bye-bye.